everyone we are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x to the power 4 minus 625 this is equal to 0 what is the value of x now let's prevent the solution from here so we have x to the power 4 subtract 625 this is equal to 0 now we can express x to the power 4 as x to the power 2 this to power 2, then subtract 625, we can express this as 5 to power 2, raised to power 2, this is equal to 0. Now, you find that this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b, a minus b. Now, from this equation here, we have that a is equal to x squared, b is equal to 5 squared. So this implies that a plus b, this is equal to, this is equal to x squared plus 5 squared, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. And we have that a minus b. This is equal to x squared minus 5 squared. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Now, from equation 1, we can call this case 1. So, from case 1, we have x squared plus 5 squared. This is equal to 0. Now, x squared plus 5 squared, this is in the form of a squared plus b squared which we can express as a plus bi, a minus bi. So this implies that x squared plus 5 squared, this is the same thing as x plus 5i. Then here we have x minus 5i. So from here, we have two parts. We have two parts here. This is equal to 0. We have two parts here. That is x plus 5i. This is equal to 0. And we have the second part here, which is x minus 5i. This is equal to 0. So this implies that x1 from here, this is minus 5i. And we have that x2 from here, this is equal to 5i. So from here, let's proceed to case 2. Let's proceed to case 2 here. In case 2, we have x squared minus 5 squared. This is equal to 0. In case 2 here, we have x squared minus 5 squared. This is equal to 0. And you find that this is in the form of a squared minus b squared which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. So x squared minus 5 squared, this is the same thing as x plus 5, x minus 5, this is equal to 0. So in this case, we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 5, this is equal to 0. And the second part here is x minus 5, this is equal to 0. So this implies that x3 from here, this is equal to minus 5. And we have that x4, this is equal to 5. So in this case, we have four solutions. We have four solutions. That is x1, we have that x1 is equal to minus 5i we have x2 here which is 5i we have x3 in this case x3 is minus 5 and we have that x4 is equal to 5 so these are the four solutions the next step is to verify so let's verify that these four solutions satisfies the equation. So if you recall from here, we have that x to the power 4 
subtract 625. This is supposed to give us a value of 0. So let's substitute x1, which is minus 5i. So we have minus 5i raised to power 4. Subtract 625. This is equal to 0. So minus 5, we have that. This is the same thing as minus 5 times minus 5 times minus 5 times minus 5. Then multiplying by i squared times i squared. Subtract 625 from here. This is supposed to give us a value of 0. Now, minus 5 times minus 5 times minus 5. This is the same thing as 5 to power 4. Then times i squared. i squared is equal to minus 1. So let's substitute this. So, minus 1 times minus 1, subtract 625, this is equal to 0. So, 5, time, 5 raised to the power 4 is the same thing as 625. Minus 1 times minus 1, this is 1, then subtract 625, this is equal to 0. 625 minus 625, this is equal to 0, which is equal to 0. So, the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that x1 satisfies the equation so let's check x2 x2 in this case we have 5i so we have 5i raised to power 4 subtract 625 this should give us a value of 0 so 5i to power 4 this is the same thing as 5 to power 4 times i squared times i squared subtract 625 this is equal to 0 so 5 to power 4 this is 625 then times i squared which is minus 1 times i squared minus 1 subtract 625 this is equal to 0 so minus 1 times minus 1 this is 1 so we have 625 subtract 625 this is equal to 0 so 625 minus 625 this is equal to 0 when this is equal to 0 so the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that x2 satisfies the equation let's check x3 x3 in this case is minus 5 so we have minus 5 raised to power 4, subtract 625. This is supposed to give us a value of 0. Minus 5 to power 4, this is the same thing as minus 5 times minus 5 times minus 5 times minus 5. Subtract 625 from here. This is supposed to give us a value of 0. Minus 5 times minus 5 times minus 5 times this minus 5. This is the same thing as 5 to power 4. 5 to power 4, this is 625. So we have 625. Subtract 625. This is supposed to give us a value of 0. 625 minus 625, this is equal to 0, which is equal to 0. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, x3 satisfies the equation. So let's check x4. x4 here is equal to 5. So this implies that we have 5 to power 4. Subtract 625. This is supposed to give us a value of zero so five to power four in this case this is equal to five times five times five times five and this is equal to 625 so here we have 625 subtract 625 and this is equal to zero 
So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right, add left add side is equal to the right add side. And this shows that the four solutions here satisfies the equation. So can you refer the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Country, like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.